What's up my ninjas? Chilling here. Getting back on the trail after spending some time indoors for about five nights. Taking a break, giving the feet a rest. I've come about 350 kilometers, give or take, in my journey. Had to head out of town real fast because uh, check the weather forecast. You see that uh, stormy area over there. That's where the town is. And that's where the uh, rainfall was expected. I missed a hail of raindrops earlier. Took a little break under some trees. It's about six, six o'clock here. About time to start looking for a spot to camp. Oh, could that be it? Just might be. Well, I gotta say after five nights in the city that I actually missed hiking walking around, being on the outside of town, walking on the highway with the cars whizzing by, you know. It's, uh, it's how antisocial folks like me can tolerate being around people. I just have to walk on the highway right next to cars. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, just trying to save, save a buck here or there. Trying to trying to eat a good meal when I can. I was able to cook last uh, four nights or so. So I made a bunch of what did I make? Pasta with a bunch of chopped up mushrooms, onions, and uh, tomatoes. So that was really good. Really nice. Nice to chill. Nice to be able to wake up. Um, you know, whenever whenever I'm not tired anymore, not sleepy as opposed to waking up sort of every day at around 6 a.m. and having to GTFO my camp area cuz um you know if you want to if you want to stay undetected you got to move under the cover of darkness and so my routine has sort of been uh build my tent at around 8 to 8:30 p.m. when it starts getting real dark and then hopefully nobody sees me doing that and then hopefully uh have my tent all picked up and packed up um, by 6.30 a.m. so I can uh, hit the riz, you know, and I still get caught. <laughs> I still get, I still, I still get detected, you know, just like the Rona. <laughs> it always gets detected, even if it's not there. So, um, <laughs> but so far, no legal trouble. So thank God for that. I really don't, I really don't have the extra cash laying around to, um, pour into the uh, local precincts uh, coffers at the moment. I'm just going to have to extort that out of drug dealers and, uh, you know, property taxes. So, you know, what some would call honest. Honest means of extortion. <laughs> so, um, how's life in your neck of the woods? Everybody staying, staying up? Everybody staying positive? You know, you always got to look on the bright side of life because, um, you know, me, I'm Mr. Positive. <laughs> Actually, you know, last night I, I met a guy uh, at this cafe, at this diner. It's kind of like a greasy spoon. And, uh, and I asked this guy, I'm like, he looked, he looked kind of rugged and worn, worn, worn in. Let's just say that. And I was like, hey, man, I was like, uh, uh, where do you stay around here? I was like, you got like a room or something? He's like, on the streets. I was like, okay. I was like, you know what, man? I was like, I've been hiking and camping, you know, staying out in the forest. I was like, but a couple times I, I slept in the city on the ground. I was like, and you know what? I'm, I can get a pretty good night's sleep, <laughs> sleeping on the ground in the city. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, you just gotta, just gotta find a spot and, uh, you know, watch your stuff. <laughs> so, so even if, even if and when, as in now, the world's taking a giant deuce on everybody except of course for you know like the point zero zero one percent of people who are invested in the fraud um, you know if, if you gotta go live in your car or a van or you gotta go live in a tent as long as you can buy food man in my opinion that's the best and uh, you know I actually enjoy having no social status because what's the uh, what's the alternative for me right now 
I mean, try to compete for a job in an extremely narrow, limited job market for limited hours so that I could rent a limited safety, <laughs> limited luxury apartment somewhere <laughs> in a limited security part of town and be uh, lowest rung on the, uh, on the social ladder? I don't think so. I think I would just uh, rather go undetected and focus on what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm still writing. I'm writing, uh, trying to write 1,500, 2,000 words a day, three or four days a week. So I'm trying to um, compile some, some chapters and put a book together, hopefully, in the next month or two. And it's just sort of stream of consciousness stuff. I'm kind of talking about a lot of, you know, what I talk in my videos, what I talk about, um, you know, and uh, also some how-tos, you know. If anybody else out there wants to pick up the skill of backpacking and um, wild camping, it is a skill. There is strat it's, it's all strategy. From from sunup to sundown, it's all strategy. And I'm, I'm a little jazzed right now, you know, because I've been scurping the perp. I've already probably walked 10 miles today. And so I'm chilling, you know. I'm in some relaxing surroundings. Um, but for the most part, it's... I feel like it's kind of like being in the military. You know, I was in the Navy, so I don't know what it's like to be a soldier, you know. But I would think you're always, you know, you're always moving, rucking, getting, getting the orders from headquarters. Only I'm the headquarters, and I give the orders to myself. So, um... Yeah, but uh, after being in the city, I was it was I was so bored. Four nights I stayed in a, in a private like studio apartment, which was cool, and I tried to make the most of that. I did lots of laundry, cooked, made some music, squeezed in a workout, uh, wrote some some uh, some chapter in my book. Just chilled, you know, slept, caught up on a lot of sleep. I needed it. Um, so I'm jazzed, I'm all rested and ener energized, but last night I stayed in a hostel and it was so boring. And the whole time I'm just like, this is so boring. I was like, I thought about staying two nights just so I could sleep in a bed for one extra night. And I'm like, what's the point? A couple of creature comforts? I'm comfortable out here, you know? This is my home. Ooh, that is not looking good. See that? Looks like the... Looks like the rain clouds following me around. Go figure. But uh, I'm in a nice spot here, except that giant boulder with the eroded underbelly. <laughs> it's a little bit concerning. But that's just part. That's just part of the, you know. It's just part of the game. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, playa. So, you know, that's uh, that's just just comes with the territory. So yeah, you know, I'm just trying to stay busy, trying to be productive. When you think about all the unproductiveness, if that's a word, that occurs in daily life, I mean, I see it every day. People on their second beer by like 10:30, 11 a.m. in the morning, smoking two packs of cigarettes, sitting around talking loud. You know what I mean? Like, is that what we were? Is that what we were put on this earth to do? I don't think so. And so even if I write this book and it's a piece of shite, you know what? I don't care because for all the hours I sat down and wrote it and organized my thoughts and tried to make it entertaining and factual and, uh, you know, dare I say, illuminating for people out there. <laughs> um, that's what it's all about. It's like... It's like working out for your body, but working out for your mind. You got to keep your mind fresh. Uh, I, I honestly believe that. So even in an environment of stagnation and decay, even if you want to be out there working, you know what I mean. Maybe you can work. Good for you if that's what you can do, and you can do that, and you know, and that's what you want to do. Well, good for you. But you know, if um, maybe you have an, you know, an unorthodox set of skills like myself, but you can still. Turn out a, a few bucks on the low. 
Um, or maybe, you know, you, you have enough money to survive so you can set your mind to doing things that could help people on a different plane of consciousness just past, you know, the sort of uh, commodification of everyday life, uh, you know, like go to work, clock in X amount of hours equals pay, you know what I mean? Or X amount of units sold equals this or that, you know, but a intangible benefit to impart upon yourself and humanity and other living creatures on this earth, in my opinion, um, you should go for that. Because if all you're doing is waking up every day and screwing and having babies and, and then going to work and feeding babies so, so babies can have more babies, then like... What kind of humans are we making? You know, are we making robots? At some point, somebody has to up humanity's game. You know what I mean? Nikola Tesla didn't have no babies. But, you know, he sure makes an amazing car now, doesn't he? A <laughs> hundred years after his death. <laughs> or, actually, he didn't die a hundred years ago. I don't know when he died. 75, 80, 50 going once going twice so um i'm past the 10 minute mark i know this is uh usually a good time for me to to duck out to uh, exit stage left and so i shall and i'll give you one last look at the cloudy sunset before i decide if i'm gonna keep going or just make my home here for the night all right everybody out there stay protected stay undetected <laughs>